The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Eric Colby for BoatTest.com, and this is a 1987 Bayliner 34 Avanti that's been repowered with engines from Mercury Remanufacturing. We get the chance to take her out and put her through her paces. The repower job was done at Weaver's Marine Service in Baltimore, Maryland, a full-service facility with waterfront dockage. The original engines were 454 cubic inch U.S. Marine inboards with Borg Warner V-Drive transmissions. The 1987 Bayliner 3450 Avanti was repowered with two 350 horsepower Mercury remanufacturing 383 mag stroker inboards equipped with Hearth V-Drive transmissions with a gear ratio of 2.5 to 1. The propellers are 20 by 24 bronze four blades. With a displacement of 383 cubic inches, the 383 mag stroker inboard is considered a small block, while the previous engines in the boat were heavier 454 cubic inch big blocks. The 383 mag stroker inboard weighs in at 932 pounds each. A big block typically weighs in at more than 1,100 pounds, so the weight savings with the new motors is substantial. With the new motors, we hit a top speed of 31.9 miles per hour and burned 50.7 gallons per hour, resulting in a range of 113 miles. Best Cruise came at 3,000 RPM where she ran 19.3 miles per hour and burned 20.7 gallons per hour, which increased range to 167 miles with a 10% fuel reserve. In acceleration test, the 3450 Avanti planed in 7.3 seconds. She reached 20 miles per hour in 8.7 seconds and continued to 30 miles per hour in 18.3 seconds. Now you may be asking, where's the top RPM? With a full BoatTest.com crew aboard, including a videographer, while idling out to the testing channel, we ran over a submerged tree limb. We all heard the dreaded thunk. One of the props was slightly damaged, but even the smallest imperfection in a prop can make a serious difference in performance, and thus not a fair sea trial according to our standards. Some might not expect handling to improve with new engines, but having the ability to keep the boat on plane through a turn makes it more versatile and a little more fun to drive. The new engines definitely made a difference when it came to docking. Fuel injection improved the idle and throttle response at low speeds, and the owner never has to pump the gas to get the engine started on a cool morning. In addition to the motors, the crew at Weaver's Marine replaced the original square gauges with new Faria white-faced instruments set in a faux carbon fiber panel. They integrated with the boat cleanly and gave the dash a modern feel. The original controls were retained, but the keys were new and the owner said they're much smoother than the original ones. The Mercury Remanufacturing 383 Mag Stroker inboard could be a smart repowering alternative for an owner who likes the layout of his current boat and plans to keep it for a few years. The engine swaps out easily and because it's lighter than a big block of comparable power, it should provide an instant boost in performance and efficiency. For BoatTest.com, I'm Eric Colby.